helmet because this is likely to self destruct. Three masses. This is the heaviest one of the whole lot, so we've got a 10, and we'll pretend it's a 10 kilogram, a 3 kilogram, and a 5 kilogram. These two are connected to their own pulley in there, which we'll call an internal system, and the two of those weights and that pulley is in turn connected to a separate pulley at the very top, and on the other side of that pulley, you come back down here and you've got a 10 kilogram mass. So in theory, when I let all three release, the 10 kilogram should go down, and these two should go up. But while these two are going up, you've got an internal acceleration. And within that internal acceleration, the five is the heavier one, so that's going to go down, and the three is the lighter one, so that's going to go up. So there are three different masses going and doing three different things, so in order to see what's happening, we're going to take them separately. So first of all, if we can focus on the 10 whenever we release it, I'll give Felix a countdown. So you're focusing on the 10 there, there. We'll just say three, two, one, and release. And you can see the 10 one definitely going down. So back up we go. <coughs> So, just to come back over here, we have a little bit of notation here. So if I say that's going down with acceleration A, when you release it, that definitely went down with acceleration A. Felix, let's switch over, you're going to hang on the heavier one. You bring it up here. So if that's going down with acceleration A, then while it does, these two go up with acceleration A. So both of them, as you can see, have on them, they've got the different forces. This guy here has got a force 3G going down due to the mass, S going up due to the strain, and it's going up with acceleration A. Similarly, this one oops, is going up with acceleration A, a 5G force going down, an S force due to the string pulling it up, and it's going up with an acceleration A. Now what we also need to notice is that 3G and the 5G have their own internal acceleration. So while Felix keeps these ones steady, we're just going to release these two and notice that the 3 goes down, accelerates downwards, and the 5 accelerates upwards. I think that they got it the right way around. Three, two, one. And which one goes down? And five. Okay, so I just had an indicator wrong. In fact, that should be three and that should be five. But damn if I'm going to go through this one again. Uh, Harry, give me a marker over there, please. Before I shoot someone. That one's not bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the five. That would die. Oh, what is the five? Sweet, I got something right. Okay, I'm moving on. So I release two of these. The five goes down. The three goes up with that acceleration. Now, when I release all three of them, very last stage, and I don't say go until I say go, I don't drop until I say go, this 10 definitely goes down with acceleration A. The light guy here definitely goes up because it's going up with acceleration A due to the pulley on top, but it's also going up with acceleration B due to this internal pulley system. This is the complicated guy. It's going up with an acceleration A due to the pulley on the very top being connected to the heavier particle here. But however, it's also got an internal acceleration, B, which is downwards because it's heavier than this guy here. So when I release it, there's two conflicting accelerations. And which way it will go is determined by which of the two accelerations of the bigger. Um, we're still okay there. Now you can, in theory, I think there is some way of working this out in advance if B is going to go up or down, but I don't know what it is. And generally when we work out the uh, pulley equations, we just pick one system and we assume if it's going up, we just say bigger force minus smaller force is equal to mass times bigger acceleration minus smaller acceleration. Or we could do it the other way around. We could say, guess it's going downwards, and we could say downward force minus upward force is mass times small, bigger acceleration, sorry, downward acceleration minus upward acceleration. Either way, we let the three of them go, and I say 10 kilogram will go down, 3 kilogram will go up, and this guy could go up or down. 3, 2, 1, stand well back. Big one goes down, small one goes up, and this one goes up. Nobody got injured in the making of this, and I never want to see those pulleys again. You're going to put this here.